Holly Willoughby's master plan to put a constant stream of bad luck behind her, has gotten off to a dicey start, following the news that the BBC have cancelled her show Freeze the Fear, which was produced by her husband Dan Baldwin. But the question is, could ITV have a hidden agenda, to keep the former This Morning presenter right where they want her? More on that later. After bosses have subjected viewers to a revolving door format of new presenters in a seemingly futile attempt to replace their once-coveted hosts Phil and Holly, the word on the street now is that This Morning have decided against making look-alike guest host Molly King, Holly Willoughby's full-time replacement. The former Saturday singer and Radio 1 presenter has starred on the ITV daytime show alongside Andy Peters and Dermot O'Leary before, but bosses reportedly think she's too green for the main role. A source said, it seemed like a really good idea to get Molly on, she is literally a dead ringer for Holly and she has a big fan base. A bit like Holly, girls love her and men fancy her, plus she comes across as so sweet and lovely which viewers like. But she just doesn't have the hours of live broadcasting time that is needed to host a show like this morning. It would have been a great gimmick for the program, she literally is Holly's doppelganger but it was a case of thanks, but no thanks. Other names that have been trialed for the gig include Christine Lampard and Lisa Snowden, as producers look at the chemistry between talent and popularity with viewers. But, just weeks ago it was revealed that Kat Dealey had turned down the gig in favor of working in America. She had been in line to co-host with Ben Shepard but decided to host So You Think You Can Dance instead. So, what is really going on? Why are ITV, who have access to a whole host of talent, unable to pin down nor choose a suitable replacement? It's coming across as rather suspicious to us. Could there be a specific reason for their reluctance to make a decision? Yes, we believe so. Holly Willoughby dramatically quit this morning in October after it was revealed she was the victim of an alleged foiled kidnap plot. In her statement, she wrote, I have let ITV know today that after 14 years, I will not be returning to this morning. Adding, it's been an honor to just be part of its story and I know this story has many chapters left to go. Sadly, however, I now feel I have to make this decision for me and my family. But, interestingly, when you look back on it, Kevin Ligo, managing director of media and entertainment at ITV, later said, we are sad that Holly is leaving this morning, but respect her decision which we know will have been extremely difficult for her to make. He ended his statement very clearly, stating that the broadcaster is looking forward to continuing to work with Holly in the future. And true to form, Despite bleating on about a newfound fear of live TV following an alleged kidnap plot by Pinnacle's shopping center security guard Gavin Plum. Just three months later, Holly Willoughby is preparing to finally step out of hiding and squeeze into a sequined ball gown to host dancing on ice in front of millions. Funny that. Is she just throwing herself in at the deep end? Or, was this the plan all along? With Holly being conveniently protected from her worsening reputation following the Philip Schofield scandal by taking a small television hiatus, and ITV's independent inquiry results neatly out of the way and shoved down the back of the sofa, her contracts with big brands Marks and Spencer and L'Oreal conveniently put on hold, plus a spectacular comeback platform such as Dancing on Ice to relaunch her career to boot. Could all of these intricate plays be lining up for little Miss Holly Willoughby to safely make a return back to the daytime presenting gig? She has held for the past 14 years on this morning. Possibly, in our opinion, we really wouldn't be surprised if ITV has merely been biding its time with its revolving door presenter charade with a view to reinstating Holly on this morning if she brings in the viewers to telly's biggest skating show on January 14th. But, will she sink or swim? The truth is, that no matter how much planning, trickery and manipulation has gone into it all, the final decision, is down to us, the viewer. And if we don't fall for it, ITV will have no reason, nor valid explanation for returning an unfavorable presenter to front daytime TV's biggest show. Plus, there's a small detail which they may have overlooked. That being, the tricky quandary of the upcoming trial of her alleged kidnapper, Gavin Plum, which is due on June 24th. If it really is the case that we will see Holly Willoughby back in her previous role on this morning by this time next year. We predict that the finer details of the alleged kidnap offense will be kept to a bare minimum. In effect, a repeat performance of the independent inquiry which was accused of being a complete and utter whitewash. If ITV's long-term plan really is to crown Holly Willoughby as Queen Bee of daytime TV once again, it would explain their reluctance to confirm a permanent replacement. As for Philip Schofield coming back into the fold, well, that would be far trickier. 
Philip is going to need a small miracle to win back public favor, possibly in the form of an appearance on a reality show such as the upcoming Celebrity Big Brother. But, can he be bothered, or indeed have the strength to fight what could be a losing battle? He may just quietly slip into retirement obscurity. But, something tells us that his ego is far too big for that. For now at least, Philip Schofield has been suspiciously quiet since he was spotted outside his home following the publishing of ITV's independent inquiry results by Jane Mulcahy KC. But, his silence may not continue for long. We have a feeling he may be inclined to throw a spanner in the works when he switches on his television set to witness his former bestie Holly Willoughby make her dazzling grand entrance on January 14. Could we see Philip Schofield stepping out from the shadows and being sneakily papped while frequenting his local boozer once more, stealing Holly's headlines? To be honest, we wouldn't be surprised. Blinkerhole suspects that Philip, who is rapidly turning into Holly Willoughby's nemesis, is holding several ace cards up his sleeve, ready and waiting to be dealt. Please like and subscribe for more journeys through the blinker hole. For entertainment purposes only. Keep up to date with our latest investigations and hit the join button. If you like what we do, send us a super thanks. Official blinker hole merchandise is available in store.